Hey everybody, it's Jess and welcome to Fine Curls Jess and today we are doing a sit down video. Sit down sit down video and um i don't really do sit down videos i'm always standing somewhere so this is kind of strange um but based off the title in case you guys do not know i messed up and um i didn't really want to put <laughs> this out there but i figured it could help other people it could help me in the process going forward so yeah, let's just talk about how I lost a lot of my hair from the Illusion Crochet Braids. So I'm going to insert a clip up here while I talk and some pictures, um, basically showing you guys what happened. So if you have fine hair, you want to you want to stay tuned for all the information all the tea i gotta tell you if you have thicker hair then you know okay this could be for you you know but might not be for you i understand okay so i installed these illusion crochet braids using the rubber band method and before y'all go like oh well it was the rubber bands that pulled your hair out no it was the size that i made my parts and it was the amount of tension so the twists were not heavy once I installed them they were not heavy I've done this style before um, I'll link a thing up here those were not heavy those were not too small the issue was is that normally I do a protective style for two weeks and then I take it out I tell you all the time two weeks two to three weeks is my like three weeks is my max but two weeks is really choo -choo, take my hair out redo it because who got time to lose hair? I don't. But I had just gotten through like the week of coming back from going out of town. And I just was not feeling taking my hair down last week. I wasn't feeling doing my nails last week. So I left it in. And then I became lazy because it might be TMI for some. But, um... It was I was PMSing, you know, about to be that time of the month. I didn't feel like doing my hair. I barely felt like working out. So I was just, I wasn't tying it up. I wasn't oiling it like I should. And it was getting dry up here. So the issue comes is that when my hair gets dry, I normally don't itch it, like or scratch it. I normally just spray it with some oil, you know, and go about my business. But I was scratching, like literally scratching the perimeter of my hair which is kind of a no-no for me. I don't know if it is for anybody else, but I try to prevent scratching in my hair because when I scratch too hard, I uproot my follicles. It's strange. It just is what it is. Plus, on top of that, I mean, you have your typical, you know, um, shedding of your hair, that sort of thing. So, yeah. The, also, the second mistake I made with this protective style is that I did... I installed the twist right after I did the parting. So if you have thin or fine hair, you want to put your hair in the sections and the parts and then like wait a couple of hours or wait a day and then install your twist just to give the rubber bands enough time to loosen up, just to give your hair enough time to get situated in this new style that it's in and all that stuff. The other issue, like I said, was that they were so small. And because they were so small, that is technically more tension. I literally made my parts, put the rubber bands in, made my parts, and then I installed the same exact day. Which I knew should have known better, but I was waiting to the last minute. It was just a lot. Um, so I suffered from it. Now, do I think that my hair is not going to grow back in these places? No, I know I can get my hair to grow back. It's already starting to grow back. You can already see the follicles starting to come up. Um, but I'm just putting this out there to let you guys know that, yes, I, I have to... I messed my hair up and now I got to deal with it. So I wanted to put another protective style in, but I am just going to let my hair sit for a minute. I'm going to give the permanent of my hair a break. And then I'm going to show you how I'm still planning on doing the illusion crochet braids because I really do like that method. I really do like the way that they look, but I'm going to do it in a different way 
the next time that I do it. Um, so yeah, I also have to make sure like I get my twists. Like if I do twists like those, they have to be thicker because I need to make bigger parts. Realistically, um, I don't know if I said this before in any of my rubber band box braids or anything like that but if you have fine hair making bigger sections with your hair even though it's going to make your hair look thinner because you know you don't have that much hair making bigger sections is just better it just doesn't allow for so much tension of the hair onto that particular session section 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 <laughs> so i messed up so of course now i'm kind of like masking it you guys see i have like a little part and my hair is coming more towards my face so it's covering this part of my hair which you know is thinner like i have my edges because i don't include my edges in any of my protective style but it's like that first row that first row that was right here from all the itching and then the pulling up in a ponytail putting it in a bun so i could wash you know my body after a workout and stuff like that caused tension on the perimeter of my hair which i experienced hair loss it just it is what it is you know sometimes real we real g's we mess up and this is a part of this hair journey that i'm going through so i figured you guys should you guys will want to know about it so i figured i really do need to tell you instead of trying to hide it wearing my hair down over the hidden spots or hiding those spots and then coming back like nothing ever happened there or whatever that's not that's not cool so before all of this had even like happened or anything like that i purchased this hair oil from um a girl I follow on Instagram her name is Gia and she has this fixed hair recovery oil which looks like this another small black owned business um, I just you know I really I really liked her this is not you know if you if you looking for some cheap inexpensive route whatever this oil is not cheap you know she does it in her house by herself that sort of thing so um the ingredients are pretty easy to read i'll include those on the screen as well but she um she says that it's safe for babies beards and eyebrows um but that you you know should test a small patch just to make sure you don't have any allergies to it and then um to be consistent which i'm going to try to do so you have to use a minimum of three times per, per week and then massage 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 which i tell you guys often massaging your hair helps to stimulate hair growth so um i'm going to use these pictures that i showed you guys today as my before pictures and then i'm going to start using this actually in my hair tomorrow so eventually I will be putting another protective style in. It's probably going to be like a half wig or something like that. Something that I could take off my hair freely every night so I could still get to my hair, take care of it, nourish it, nurture it, and nourish it for a couple of weeks, maybe a month or two until I feel like it's at a safe space that I can go back to doing my own um, braids. And before anybody asks me, like, oh, you know, you get breakage from crochet braids. Oh, you get breakage from rubber band braids. Are you, why are you putting those in your hair? Because they help my hair, girl. Like, legit, my hair wasn't this long last year. And not only that, it gives me a chance to not have to do my hair every day. My hair, even though it's fine, even though it's thin, is high maintenance. And natural hair is just high maintenance. And sometimes I don't have time to be high maintenance. Especially who with kids being in uh, virtual learning and I work a full-time job in school and stuff It is nice to just wake up and be able to get to do what I need to do. So There's that but yeah, I'm rambling now. So like I said, I will show you guys the progress and Probably in a month. We'll do another sit-down video and we'll see how has my hair grown in a month with using the fixed oil and giving my hair a break 
from putting it in braids and all that good stuff if you guys have tips or things that you want me to try in my hair that you think might help let me know down in the comments below um if you start getting disrespectful i will turn my comments off just saying because uh, <laughs> i don't need that kind of negativity in my life right now and yeah until next time you guys oh wait if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's that red button down below. Just click it, click, click. Enjoy your girl on her journey, on her on the team. Also click the bell next to it if you want to see whenever I upload a video for your viewing pleasure. And also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't, um, you can give it a thumbs down. I don't really care. Anywho, until next time, you guys. Bye. Bye.